Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hello, I'm Danita Harris, and here's a look at today's top stories. It's been almost 10 months since a huge announcement in Cleveland promising to create new jobs, research projects, and a better future for Northeast Ohio. And the state says it's working. The Cleveland Innovation District is a partnership between Cleveland's three major hospital systems, two universities, and a half a million dollar investment from the state. The goal is to increase the talent pipeline for our region's most in-demand jobs. The state says so far, 300 jobs have been filled at Cleveland Clinic. There's been a 40% increase in STEM program enrollment at Cleveland State. Construction is underway at Metro Health for a new cancer research facility and much more. The Akron-Canton Regional Airport is getting a chunk of money from the American Rescue Plan. Senator Sherrod Brown announced a nearly $5 million grant from the FAA for the site. The money will pay for operations, cleaning, paying off debts, and other pandemic-related expenses. Now for a look at your weather, here's meteorologist Ramesha Shade. Not much to complain about once again today. Yes, the 70s from yesterday are probably gone, but how about middle 60s? That's almost as good. So that mild weather sticking around for your Tuesday. It's going to feel awesome, and there will still be a decent supply of sunshine, but you will notice the clouds getting thicker as we go through the afternoon. So that will be the small difference today. Not quite as warm and maybe a few more clouds to deal with out there. We should make it up to 65 degrees. Can't rule out a stray shower rolling in late as this weak front pushes through, but a much stronger front arrives Thursday night. That means a big chance for rain, and then it's going to be feeling like winter this weekend with snow possible. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.